folks, Cal Kellogg here. Um, it's Sunday afternoon, I'm in the middle of weed whacking and doing a bunch of chores around the house, but uh, I thought I'd take a time out just to talk to you a little bit about fish and tackle. Um, last week, I did a podcast and I talked about the importance of using trolling swivels when trolling for trout. And I had someone ask me um, why a trolling swivel is better than a standard swivel, so I thought I'd, I'd talk about that today. Um, first and foremost, I hate line twist. It will ruin your day. It'll strike you hardest when you have a big fish on your line or when a hot bite starts and all your stuff will get tangled and it'll just be a total bummer. So here's a standard snap swivel and I'm going to hold this up to the camera. Now this is what a lot of us use to keep twist out of our line and to attach gear and things like that. And That gets the job done but I'll show you. If you look right here you know, there's, there's really two points of rotation on that swivel. Now, if you're doing something like rolling shad or trolling a grub, and that doesn't rotate just perfectly, it will still rotate and it will still transmit twist to your line. And when you're using something like a rolling shad that's constantly turning, one, if, if one of those twists per, you know, 20 revolutions of the shad is transferred to your line, you're going to end up with a mess after about an hour or two of trolling. So, that's your standard snap swivel. This is a trolling swivel. You'll see it looks a lot like the, um, the chain on, uh, on an old-fashioned uh, bathtub plug. And that's kind of exactly what it is. It has attachment points at either end. Um, but it has, you know, every one of those balls is a different point of rotation. So this nullifies just about any kind of rolling bait. It, it will absorb that twist and it won't transmit it up your line. I use these as standard practice on my trolling rigs. I bring my main line down. I hook to one of these. I usually put a lock snap on the far end of this so I can snap on a leader. If I'm just running a spoon, I'll run about a 48 inch leader off of this. But I always have one of these on my main line and I usually have a bead up above it. What the bead's for is just to give me a visual indicator. I, I don't want to reel that thing into the eye of my rod because that's, a, that's another recipe for disaster. You reel this thing into your rod, you got a big fish on, he takes off, he snaps you off. So put a bead on there. It, uh, it will, it'll catch some weeds and stuff that go down the line, but mostly it's just so I can see exactly where that swivel is in low light conditions. So anyway, main line, bead, trolling swivel, and then hook on your leader. If you don't think that's enough, and if you know you're going out and you're gonna use something that is intensely spinning, like again, rolling shad, um, plug cut anchovies, I'll use something just one step more to really ensure that I'm protected, and that is a rudder. This one's from the folks at Gold Star Silver Horde. It just sits in your line. It has high quality swivels at either end. I still connect it with a trolling swivel, but that right there, it cuts through the water. It prevents any rotation at all coming from the bait and going up your line. So this end here, the thin end, that would be going up to your rod and then your bait's running back here. And if you wanted to, I'm always using a downrigger or a lead course so I never use this, you can attach a snap right here, put a little weight on it for more depth. But anyway, that's a rudder. I don't find that many people have these in their tackle box, but you should have at least one, maybe two. A few different companies make them. I've seen them made out of plastic, but this one here is made out of the same kind of metal that you'd see a Dodger made out of. So a trolling rudder. So if you're really a fanatic about keeping line twist out of your line, get some rudders. You absolutely have to have some trolling swivels and uh, you won't be bothered by line twist anymore. It's Kel Kellogg signing off some stuff fight line twist it's the devil's work <laughs> anyway i'll catch you next time um catch me on youtube hit that subscribe button down there thanks folks